Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to show you a little TJ Maxx slash Ross perfume haul. Um, I just went out shopping today to do Christmas shopping. I went looking for Hello Kitty stuff for Charlotte, and I did find some Hello Kitty stuff for Charlotte, and the majority of the shopping really was for other people, but I cannot go into either of those places without checking out their perfume, and they had some good things, so... Anyways, I'm gonna jump right in. I'm gonna start with the stuff that I picked up from Ross. So the first one that I found at Ross is this one here. This is a fragrance from Michael Buble, and this is called By Invitation. I have gotten a sample of this from Fragrance Net before, and it's really a very pretty fragrance, especially for being a celebrity fragrance, and it was only $6.99. I could not believe it, so I just had to grab it. I just remember this one being so pretty. I'm gonna edit out the getting cellophane off part. It's so funny because some people are so sensitive to that, they just cannot tolerate it. And at first I was like, I don't know what the big deal is, but then I think about things like, um, when somebody taps on something or somebody is eating really loudly, I get it like, ugh, it's like nails on chalkboard to me. So I thought about it that way and I was like, oh gosh, it might be like that for people. And so I'll just make sure I always edit it out. Anyways, here it is. This is a really beautiful box. It's kind of like textured. It looks like a really nice, like high-end card stock. And it's really, really pretty. I really wanted to go to Burlington Coat Factory while I was while I was in town, but I had to get home so that my husband could go to work, so unfortunately I couldn't, but I've heard such good things about Burlington Coat Factory and like that they have really good perfumes. Anyways, this is what the bo the uh, bottle looks like and it's really pretty cute for being, you know, for a bottle. Gosh, it's so strong. I can smell it. Like, I can smell it. And I haven't even sprayed it yet, as soon as I got it out of the box. But I think it's cute how it it looks, like the cap looks like a an atomizer. You know, like one of those, well, you know, like an old fashioned. I think it's cute. The gold feels, you know, a little bit cheap, but overall I think it's super cute. Very cute little bottle. Okay, so. My husband is going to hate this one because he's gonna th he's gonna say that it smells mature, and it does smell a little bit mature, but I think it's really pretty. Okay, so let me give this one a spray. Mmm. Uh, it's really, really pretty. Yeah, I remember really enjoying the sample that I got and I could not believe it was $6.99. Okay, so the notes on this one are red fruits and bergamot, jasmine, peony, rose, and lily of the valley, and base notes are praline, sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. Um, when you first spray it, you get a blast of red fruits. The red fruit part is really, really strong. You definitely get the praline. It's like a really sweet praline. It's a very sweet, sweet fragrance. It's a very sweet floral. This one gets compared to, for whatever reason, people on Fragrantica say that this smells like Marc Jacobs Decadence. It does not, not at all. Um, it does smell a little bit like Decadence Oh So Decadent. It does smell a little bit like that. People say La Via Belle, not even close. Lancome La Nuit Tresor, no, not even close. Oh yeah, okay. People also say Floral Street, Vanilla Orchid. I would definitely agree with that. Um, it does smell quite a bit like Floral Street, Vanilla Orchid for sure. If you like that fragrance, I think you would really like this one. And oh my gosh, if you can find it for $6.99. Yeah, if you read the reviews, other people do say mature. It definitely has like a kind of slightly mature quality to it, but I really love it. I think it's beautiful. So anyways, that is the first one that I found at Ross for $6.99 and that is by invitation from Michael Buble. Really beautiful. Okay, and then this next one I am so excited about. I found this little set. This is the Cacherelle Yes I Am Delicious. This is the only one of these that I've never smelled. Um, the only one of these that I have smelled and didn't like was the Yes I Am Glorious. This one though, I knew just by the packaging it was going to be a chocolate fragrance. Um, this one gets pretty mixed reviews. People either really like it or really don't like it. With how I feel about the rest of the line, I was pretty sure that I was going to end up loving it. Um, we'll, we'll have to see. I'm not, I don't know, but 
I got this, this was $19.99 for a full bottle of the perfume and a travel spray. So I could not pass that up. It was a complete blind buy because again, I have not tested or I have not smelled this one yet. I could not not get this. You know me, if I don't like something, I'll just pass it along. But I think the bottle on this one or the box on this is super cute. So cute. In fact, I think I'm going to keep this and I like to keep these perfume boxes to store other things. I've got a bunch of like samples or, you know, decants and things that I need to a box for. So that'll be great. Okay. Let's smell this one. It smells like yes, I am, but chocolate. So again, this one gets really, really mixed reviews. It smells like yes, I am, but has it is chocolate. Oh, it smells so good. It is really, really similar to the original Yes I Am, but just add chocolate. Okay, so the notes on this one are Cacao Pod, Hazelnut, Cardamom, and Green Mandarin, Indian Jasmine, Orange Blossom, and Orange, Dark Chocolate, and Sandalwood. So I do have a perfume on, but it's pretty much worn off at this point. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna go ahead and Ugh, oh, I love it. It's so similar to the original, but it's different because it's got all that chocolate in it. And orange. Oh my gosh, it smells like a chocolate orange. On my skin, it straight up smells like a dark chocolate orange. You know, the kind that you like bang and it comes apart into little slices? That's what it smells like on my skin. Oh my gosh, this is magic on me. It is absolute magic on me. Oh, that's gonna be one of the best finds of the year for sure. I told you guys there's something about, I always find such gems at the end of the year. Like in the very last couple weeks of the year, I always find amazing perfumes. And this is gonna be one of them. This is so good. I would definitely recommend getting a sample first because it does get really, really mixed reviews. Some people it's way too sweet for. If you know you like the original though, I do think you would probably like this. It's not any sweeter than the original, but oh, it's so, so good. Okay, I'm gonna quit going on about it. So that is Yes I Am Delicious, amazing. I'm super, super happy with that one. Okay, so those are the only two that I found at Ross. Um, I will say they had a whole bunch of JLo fragrances. They had JLo Glow, I think it's called Glow After Dark. Um, I was super, super tempted to get that one, but I didn't. And then there was, um, they had JLo J Lust, which I didn't care for. I ended up um, passing that along. They had J Lux, which I just got sent a sample of, and it's really, really beautiful, but I need to wear it at least one more time before I can decide if I want a whole bottle of it. Um, and they were like $11.99. They had full bottles of Ariana Grande Sweet Lake Candy and Ari for $19.99. Both of those I want full bottles of because I finished up my travel sprays this year. Anyways, I'm blabbing. So they have a whole bunch of KKW fragrances at TJ Maxx right now. They had the entire Opal line, which none of those interested me. They had two of the from this line, mine did anyways, they had two from this line. They had the nude line, which I've heard is really, really terrible, so I stayed away from that one. But I, this was the only one that I was really interested in. I was kind of interested in the fig one, but I started reading reviews and people were saying that it really doesn't smell like fig at all, so I was like, well, then I don't want it. <laughs> um, but anyways, this is the Jeff Lethem by KKW Fragrance. And this is the one called Caramel Orchid. Um, I read reviews of this one and they were, you know, they were kind of hit or miss as well. With this one, I thought for sure, if I don't like it, I can easily pass it along. It'd be no big deal. So this one is Cocoa Salted Caramel, an elegant Devana Explode in the introduction, sun-kissed Ylang, exotic blue heliotrope and divine jasmine fill the heart, vanilla cashmere woods and cloud-like musks envelop the senses. So they had me at Devana. I love Devana in a perfume. Um, let's just talk about how freaking gorgeous this box is too. Look at that, it opens and then there's your beautiful perfume. And it's like a really nice box. Okay, so it leaked. There's definitely perfume in the bottom of this and the bottom of my bottle is sticky. 
So, whoa, yeah, it leaked. Oof, okay, I'm just gonna put this on my hand because it's like falling out of the lid. Um, I love this bottle. It's still really, really full, so it didn't like leak a ton. Some people were saying that this one smells like the Billie Eilish fragrance when you first spray it. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, huh. Okay, well, I thought that that was a design on the cap. That's not. That's what the leakage did to my cap. So this, I'm pretty sure, is supposed to just be completely smooth, but it like rumpled up my cap, which I thought that that was the design of it, and I thought it was really cute, so it's okay with me. Um, yeah, it's kind of a hot little mess. I'll give you a close-up. You can see what it did wow i that's hilarious that i thought that was the design but anyways um i kind of wish i would have picked up the fig one now i don't know um people were saying that this kind of smells like the billy eilish fragrance um which again i'm not a fan of but i knew that with the divana and the heliotrope and the other things in it i knew that it would be that it would not smell like the Billie Eilish fragrance, and it doesn't. It's really, really nice. It's really warm, nothing groundbreaking, nothing fantastic, but really warm, and I really like it. The way that it's drying down on my skin, it really, really smells good. It's sweet and warm, and the Divana is doing something. It's not, it's not green. It's almost giving it a, it is giving it this kind of twang in the background that is curious. Like it's something I know cause I just read the notes and I see, I know it has Devana in it and I know that that's what's doing it. But if I just was smelling this, I would not be able to figure out what was, what that one note is. Oh, I really, really like this. I hope it performs well on me because I really like it. And yeah, now I have like a unique <laughs> bottle. It looks, I don't know, it's so weird. So anyways, that is KKW Caramel Orchid. Excited about that one. I think I did good. I think I bought, I think I got good ones. Okay, and then the last one I picked up at TJ Maxx is this one here. This is Sarah Jessica Parker Stash Privé. Um, and this is the Eau de Parfum Elixir Spray. I've never smelled any of them, so I don't know what the difference is. I saw the elixir spray part on it when I picked it up and I was like, oh, I don't know if this is different from Stash Privé or what. Okay, it looks like that's just what it is, um, Stash Privé elixir. So yeah, I've never smelled this, but I felt like with the notes, I would like it. This 30 ml bottle was $5.99 so crazy that they had it priced so low and I couldn't really figure out why. They usually don't price perfume that low and it was not on clearance. It was like $5.99 just normally. And the bottle is super cute as well. I love the baby pink lid. My camera's gonna have a hard time focusing on that really shiny label. But yeah, super cute little pink lid and, or baby pink lid and the, uh, the liquid is really light pink as well. I knew I was gonna love this one. Really, really fresh, green, citrusy, pepper. I love this. This is gonna be gorgeous in the heat. So this is gonna be a beautiful hot weather fragrance. Okay, so stash is grapefruit, pink pepper, and quince, Moroccan orange blossom, sage, birchwood musk, and Haitian vetiver. I love that it has sage in it. Ugh. And I get the sage. The sage is really, really prominent. It's super fresh and aromatic smelling. Oh, that is gorgeous. What a find for $5.99. I just cannot believe the price on that. So anyways, you guys, that is just my little Ross and TJ Maxx haul. Um, I did really good today. I love the Michael Buble by invitation. I love the Casherelle Yes I Am Delicious. I love the KKW Caramel Orchid one, even though my bottle is a hot mess. Yeah, I really, really like it. I just have a feeling it's gonna last all of like 15 minutes on me, but we'll see. 
and I love the Sarah Jessica Parker stash privé. Really beautiful. So yeah, that is my little Ross TJ Maxx haul. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.